This is part two of my response video to the video entitled Help Catalonia Save Europe, which it made a series of false claims in regard to the Catalonian referendum and the Spanish government. Before we go on in the video, there are some very small things that I want to correct in my last video that I said by accident. In the last video, I claim that a girl was called a whore by Catalan separatists, and while it's true that they used the word whore, they also used the word son of a bitch in the clip as well. After reading more about the situation, it turns out that the girl's father was actually called those names and not actually the girl. <laughs> Although the girl was not called those names, I feel as though that it's still morally repugnant to use that kind of language in front of a child. The second thing that I said that was wrong was that the Catalan separatists broke 155 of the Spanish constitution. What the Catalans actually broke was Article 2 of the Spanish constitution. Basically, Article 2 says that the entire country has to vote in order for Catalonia to be separate from Spain. Article 155 says that Spain has the right to suspend Catalonia's government if they want to. So basically I was wrong in that small little detail. The last bit I want to correct is basically the Spanish words. Yes, I know that the Spanish I use is bad. I'm kind of self-aware about that because I'm a dumb Yankee. But still, I use the bad Spanish and purpose of humor. I did not really actually want to offend anybody who was actually offended by it. So if you guys were offended by the bad Spanish and the humor with the bad words, I apologize in advance from the last video. Now let's start part two and begin kicking some major separatist ass. Spanish officials, including the king, have not condemned police violence. You fucking lying piece of shit. They actually did fucking apologize for their actions against the citizens. As apologies go, it was a little lukewarm. The Spanish government spokesman said he was sorry for the hundreds of Catalan voters injured by national police and civil guard riot units, but he said they were just following orders. Those orders to stop Sunday's referendum from happening at all came direct from Madrid. I said this very clearly before, they were following an order. They weren't ordered to avoid an illegal vote, they were ordered to seize ballot boxes. If there were incidents, and there were, and if people were injured, evidently, we are all sorry. This clip right here took me two seconds to find. In the age of computers and cell phones and what have you, there is no excuse to say information that's actually false when you can simply Google it to get the right answer. Spanish officials, including the king, have not condemned police violence. Quite the opposite. They have arrested the two leading civil society figures of the pro-independence movement. They are being accused of sedition and face up to 15 years in prison. For the crackdowns are threatened if we continue to pursue our freedom. Gee, I wonder why those guys were charged for sedition. I mean, it's not as if those guys were actually bad people. That's right, these guys, they're just uh, totally innocent. Again, I am not a Spaniard person or a Catalan, but the more and more you look into these claims and the more and more you use Google, it turns out that these people are nothing more than pieces of shit who basically want to play the victim when they break the law and cause chaos and mayhem. In English, we have something that is called a social justice warrior. And basically, a social justice warrior equivalent in Spain will be somebody that is known as a pero flatas. Basically, these people, they try to pretend to be victims even though they're clearly not victims. Like, a social justice warrior 
or a pedo flata would say that they're oppressed because they're a woman or because they're like a person of color. They try to play victims even though they're clearly not victims. And this is the exact same thing with the Catalans people who want to be separated from Spain. They basically say that they're oppressed by the Spanish government even though they're clearly in the wrong for breaking the law. We are European citizens just like you and we need your help to defend democracy and freedom. We need your help to defend democracy and freedom. We need your help to defend democracy and freedom. Democracy and freedom. Democracy and freedom. Democracy and freedom. You guys stand for freedom, democracy, and human rights, even though you burn flags and destroy police cars and taunt people. I mean, you guys are not acting like fascists at all. Not in the slightest. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.